Welcome back to my channel. So if you don't know me, my name is Paul and I vlog about my rare disease that I have. So I just want to say that um, the start of this week has been really great for me. I haven't had any symptoms at all and that is something that is sometimes quite rare for me. So I really hope that it will continue like that for the rest of the week. So this is the day after and uh, I believe that the reason why I had a great start to my weekend is the good food and the great sleeping habits and uh, that I have been taking it easy and, and so on. And, but actually now I started to feel very tired in my brain. A lot of brain fog just came like that about two hours ago. And that's always very difficult because it's not like I can feel before that it is about to, to happen. It just happens. It's so tiresome. And I have a, a couple of colleagues that also suffer from brain fog because of uh, stress or uh, other neurological diseases. And they all say like, when it hits, it really hits so, so fast. It's like this. And uh, when you have this kind of brain fog, the obvious question is what can you do to relieve the symptoms? And for me, it's, it is just to just go to a calm and quiet place, sit down for a moment and just let my brain rest. Go grab a coffee. I just uh, came home from work and uh, I am just so, so tired right now. It feels like uh, I'm about to fall asleep at like any moment. And it's not even night yet. But I got some uh, coffee here to uh, battle this tiredness and uh, fatigue. And if you haven't heard about fatigue before, it's uh, it's like uh, a very special kind of tiredness that uh, can occur in uh, many neurological diseases. It's like your body just completely shuts down and your head too. And that is how it feels for me at, at this moment. It just feels like my body and brain are just completely shut down. It's like I have no energy at all. And you can probably see it. I am just so, so tired. Today I actually had plans to pass by the sports store because my bike broke down a couple of days ago and uh, I decided not to do that and just to go home and uh, take it easy. I'm just probably going to watch the World Championships in Athletics tonight from Budapest or as you American call it, the World Championships in Track and Fields. I can fix my bike some other day. And uh, speaking of uh, fatigue and brain fog, that actually feels just exactly like you are run over by a train or a semi truck or something like that. And it's like you just go on and on and on all the time. It's no fun feeling at all, but um, you, you get used to it and you find your own way to dealing with it. I deal with it by just uh, taking it easy, let my brain rest, it's just super important. Uh, and I, I am actually a person that wants to be active. Uh, and that it's difficult when you have this brain fog fatigue because it's like you cannot, at least I cannot do anything that is physically too demanding for me. But uh, I can still do things with my brain, like watch movies or uh, edit this vlog maybe. And yeah, there is something else that I want to talk about before I end this vlog. And that is, if you are a frequent watcher of my... Uh, Vlogs, you might think that uh, I only vlog on, on bad days and that I only do have bad days and uh, the first one is true. I'm, 
I almost only vlog on on days that are bad for me because it's sort of a therapy for me. And uh, if you do have the same problem, I I highly recommend it because uh, it really really helps. It's like talking to someone. And uh, I just forgot what I was talking about, and that's a symptom for me that my brain is shutting down. Yeah, the, the thing that I want to add, that I forgot to add, is that I do have um, quite many days that are actually good days. I just want to say that, because if you watch my vlogs, you might think that I only have bad days, and that is not true. And uh, if you do have a chronic neurological disease, you will have good days, and you will have bad days. And uh, I really appreciate the good days more now than I did before I got my official diagnosis. But I just tend to, to vlog more on my bad days. And um, I think that is a great conclusion for this vlog. So uh, see you in the next one. Bye.